ENTJ under stress, shadow mode the ENTJ's unhealthy dark side. When it comes to times of extreme stress and change, it can be challenging to remain in the same structure as usual. Many people can go into their shadow when they are feeling extremely stressed or undergoing trauma in their lives. This makes it challenging to remain confident in one's own abilities, causing them to search for other means of getting things done. For the ENTJ, it often takes a lot of outside stress and pressure for them to go into this state of being, forcing them into their shadow mode. The ENTJ's functions the dominant function of the ENTJ is their te, extrovert thinking, which causes them to pick up details around them. ENTJs focus on facts and evidence rather than emotions or inner feelings. They care about ensuring they find the right information and want to follow the correct path. For the ENTJ, it is important to be sure about things and use all the information at their disposal to get it right. ENTJs are also very efficient people who value being capable of correctly getting things done the first time. If there are mistakes made, they can become impatient with this, and this often comes from their tay, which causes them to be direct people who focus on the results. The auxiliary function of the ENTJ is their NI, introverted intuition, which helps the ENTJ make future predictions about things. While they process things in a logical manner, they also are highly intuitive people. They catalog information and process it subconsciously, but this gives them a firm grasp on the most likely outcome of things. When the ENTJ combines this with their logical thinking processes it really helps them to problem solve and create patterns. They can often come up with the most strategic path to take, and they can be good at this based on these natural functions. The tertiary function of the ENTJ is their say, extrovert sensing, which makes them drawn to aesthetics a bit. They can be drawn to beautiful things, which is why many ENTJs enjoy art and artistic abilities. They might not be great with constant physical things, since this isn't their dominant function or focus. At the same time, it is still important to them and plays a role in their lives and behaviors. ENTJs enjoy visual things and want to pay attention to the world around them when they can. The inferior function of the ENTJ is their phi or introverted feeling, which is definitely used differently for them than with someone who uses it as their dominant function. For the ENTJ, this inferior function helps them hold on to a sense of inner morals and confidence in their choices. Most things are filtered through facts and proven methods, and this is much more important for them. They might focus more strongly on facts and logic but they have an inner sense of morals and believe in following them. ENTJ in their shadow The dominant function of the ENTJ is normally their T, but instead, they become focused on T, introverted thinking. The ENTJ attempts to search inward, looking at the facts in a way they normally would not. They search for answers by analyzing the situation over and over again. Instead of being confident in finding the answers, the ENTJ starts to question these answers. They analyze the information repeatedly, hoping to find solutions that are better or different than the proven methods. Usually, ENTJs would focus on these proven methods and trust them, but in their shadow state, they no longer have that same faith and belief in these facts. Instead, they second-guess and attempt to find the answers, struggling to do so and doubting their abilities. The ENTJ's and I becomes na extrovert intuition, which also causes them to lose faith in themselves and their natural abilities. Their sense of intuition might be challenged by someone, hurting their ego and sending them into this shadow state. When this happens, they start to search for answers outwardly, wanting to make patterns and conclusions from the information. The ENTJ starts looking at the many possibilities instead of trusting in their natural abilities and knowledge. They want to use this nut to find outside patterns, but instead, it can cause them to feel overwhelmed by all of the different potential paths and outcomes. Their say is normally focused on the physical world and the present. Instead, this becomes C, introverted sensing, which focuses on the past. The ENTJ will likely start to analyze every experience and mistake, blaming themselves for the times these things went wrong. They likely only see the negative instead of the positive, and have a hard time remembering things accurately. 
they will see these past details, ripping apart each situation and looking at how they have likely failed or not been able to handle the situation the way they should have. This manifests as a sense of self-doubt, causing the ENTJ to blame themselves for what went wrong, or possibly blame others as well. The inferior function of the ENTJ is naturally their phi, but instead, this becomes fey or extrovert feeling. The ENTJ starts questioning others, constantly feeling like they are judging them and their choices. They look outward toward the group's desires far more than usual, wanting to do what they think will please them. At the same time, this can turn into resentment for the ENTJ, feeling as if everyone expects something from them that they cannot quite accomplish. This fay becomes more toxic than it does helpful most of the time since the ENTJ does not naturally use this function and instead prefers to focus on their own morals. Why this happens? These shadow functions are often forced into play when the ENTJ is under extreme stress or trauma. If something serious occurs, they can sometimes shift into this shadow mode, making them act and feel much different than normal. They likely still show signs of their normal self, but many of their behaviors are unpredictable and possibly erratic compared to the usually level-headed and focused ENTJ. They are normally confident and capable people, but in this shadow mode, they become much more insecure and constantly seem to be doubting their own actions and decisions in life. The ENTJ can also go into this shadow mode if their motives or abilities are called to question. When it feels like their actions are not coming out as they want and their normal way of handling things is not working, they find themselves forced into this shadow mode. The ENTJ is likely searching for answers and other ways of accomplishing these goals, especially if what they normally do is not working the way they expect.